one of the things that I want to sort out for myself is find a way to buy ammo so I have to go and find the right store and see how much ammo I can buy but also crafting ammo and looking at the research lab there actually is a research under weaponry which allows us to unlock ammunition crafting inside the industrial workbench so what we're going to do is there's a feature here in this game called track uh, project and it allows us to track everything that is relevant to a small primer lead or copper so lead and copper are obviously base resources small primer i don't know exactly what that is i have that marked now and hopefully when we come across things we'll see how it looks and then we're going to be able to unlock that research so there's a weapons shop around here a centaurian arsenal so let's have a look at that you know just by walking through that door, you've shown you make good decisions. I like that about you. Oh, I love the sales Welcome pitch. Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. Well, let's see what you have for sale. Please, take a look. Okay, ammunition. Good. So, do you have... 7.7 millimeters oh you have and you have so many of them that's 4,000 oh yes absolutely buy all of it the other ammunition we need is a 3kv 7,000 but it would be good to have it yeah that one we have to buy because that's our main weapons here so I'm gonna get the 11 millimeter as well we, we have a lot of money still left over so that's fine now let's do what we actually wanted to do this episode and that is do the main quest the empty nest so we have to talk to Sam Co. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. And you must be Sam Co, the Freestyle Collective expert. Whoa, I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me, don't encourage him. Cora Co, by the way, hi hi. Good to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Perfect. And you must be the new engineer. Or maybe our new gunner. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's start business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Only that it was in Freestar Collective Space? Sure enough. That's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila. For a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Well, great. Let's go. Do it. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's going to be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. I like that when we get out now, we always have our boogies. So I'm going to drive over to Sam. Because he's so far away. I wouldn't have wanted to walk this whole uh, this whole stretch. <laughs> All right, Sam, what's the story? All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail till this is over. Okay, let's get going. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. So why not just use a planet scan to find it? Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers on the frontier put down. Alright, so we find the empty nest and then the artifact. 
Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. So we got a skill point and I want to go into rifles, but well, I don't know if actually rifles covers also the Equinox and everything, because I think some of them are laser rifles and rifles and laser rifles might not be the same. I don't know. We'll see. But I, this is locked. I have to spend two more points up here. So we're going to achieve an upgrade for the pistol. And in the meantime, I'm going to go for the next level of the booster pack. There we go. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Oh no, we Folks need to go there. Danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. The Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Well, if people are in danger, I want to help. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well. I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. Yeah. You better see if we can help move the situation along. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards neither. Please, stay calm. Uh, let our security forces do their work. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. Sounds like you could use some help. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They must have made some demands by now? They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Maybe I can talk some sense into them? Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to. Whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see them, and don't try nothing. So... What I might do, just to give us a better chance, we have actually something here that we found, which gives us plus 20% persuasion chance for five minutes. So why don't we take that and now step in and talk to the guys. Security around here is a joke. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just going to walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Well, this only works if you're willing to cooperate. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're going to deal straight with us? Because you're not the only one who has had trouble with the law. I heard that. Okay, so let's talk. All right, tell me. Your demands? We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? That's a pretty tall order. Then persuade the marshal that it ain't. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. How much longer we can last. It's not too late to end this peacefully. What do you mean? Well, we have our 20%. We have three turns. 
We have to have six persuasion. This one is a tough one. If you give up now, you'll do some time, sure, but nowhere near as much as you would if a hostage dies. It's up to the marshal to make sure the hostages don't get hurt. You might as well let your prisoners go. You think they're keeping you safe, but they're not. Sometimes bad things happen to innocent people. That's life. Those hostages are just innocent bystanders. There's no need to involve them in this. Harvey just wants to be rid of these people. But we need them right where they are. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. Well, that didn't work out. The shark game is making fools of us all. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. There must be something more we can do. I appreciate your idealism. But there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards inside at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. All right, I could go in. I'm not part of these security forces, so I might be able to catch them off guard. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. No, I just need to get I into the bank. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. And once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. I think I like the back door. Right. We ready? Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, crap. Sam is already shooting. You can walk away from is a good one. You're Say your mad. prayers, pal. You should have given up when you had the chance. Let's take the front door key and... Oh, whoops! Okay, quickly get some healing into me. Over. Not by a long shot. Let's get the credits. The ammunition. Mat pack, definitely. Thank you. Let's see, where's the other guys? Here. I might as well loot them quickly. What is the Synthomath Multi? Oh, okay, food. Yeah, I take it. Nobody's here now. Guess we're going all cavemen. Done yet? So melee is a bit odd. That didn't work that well. Okay, here we go. They've got the marshal by the ball. I heard the fight. The hostages. Are they safe? It's over. The hostages are safe. That's. That's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Free Star Collective. They're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw Gang, we'll grieve for them too. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. Right. Nice, we've got some credits. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Yes, that actually would be good. So um, let's go and continue. We're not going to get deputized. So we have these faction missions now for the um, for 
Ryujin Industry and Freestyle Collective, but we're not going to do them yet. Actually, I have to look up. Can I think you can actually join all the factions. I think. So, but anyway, let's continue with the Goldbank Vault. Oh, everything's back to normal. That was really quick. I've had quite enough excitement. Oh, I suppose I'll have to write a report about all of this. Oh, we're not talking to you, I guess. Okay. So we have to go. <laughs> I like the way the bodies are still here. That is too funny. It's like, let's open shop and everything is back to normal, except we have these random bodies. All okay. Right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, I got a key. Okay. Now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper. Well, there's a note for Sam. Let's take it. Sam, I know you and your friends were going to come plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. Sounds like we need to talk to him. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Sam, level with me here. Tell me who Jacob is. We really gotta do this? Yep. We're going to the estate anyway. I'm going to find out. Yeah, well, I don't gotta say it. Okay. I'll bet Cora would tell me. Why don't you go over and ask? That's a low blow there. <laughs> no need to involve the little one. It always works, though. All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? What about Cora? She and your dad get along? <laughs> God, that's the worst part. They're thick as thieves. <laughs> Last thing I need is Jacob in her life. Let's leave it at that. Well, you say that, but you brought us here, and you brought Cora. One thing's got nothing to do with the other. I was hoping for a quick in and out. No muss, no fuss. Turns out my luck didn't hold. Listen, there's going to be a whole lot more of this ahead if I need to talk to my old man, so I'll try, but get ready for it. All right, no worries. Let's go. All right, looks like this Amira is it. Wolf at the Low House could really use someone helpful like you. After the job you did with the bank, it should be easy. Are you offering me a side quest? Of course you are. <laughs> you imagine living here? Your muscles would be huge. Okay, I don't know why. That was an odd thing to say. Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Well, this isn't about you or your ancestors. It's bigger than that. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. It's good to be out and about. Well, lives get stuffy sometimes. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. Well, before we're gonna start trying to steal them, let's try to talk to Jacob. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again? Be reasonable, we need those maps, Jacob. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. Constellation just wants to follow up on Solomon's work. Well, it's not your place to butt in. No, you're missing the point. I can explain it if you just give me a chance. I see what you're saying. Don't worry. Sam's your son. You don't want to help him? 
You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room here. Key. I see it wasn't so hard. He loves you. Your daddy loves you. He just has a very funny way of saying it. <laughs> okay, here's the maps. Is everything else considered stealing? Yeah. Oh, what a pity. Okay, you all finished there, Sam? With your funny way of walking? Alright. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. Alright, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Oh, just tell me what's wrong. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Bringing outlaws to justice sounds just like fine work. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. So the empty nest is all the way here, so... I wonder if this is close enough that we could take the rover? First, we have to get out of this port. Is there no exit here? Okay, so we can't actually drive there. Okay. That's a bit silly that there's no exit here. So unless I'm missing an exit, this is actually extremely silly, like that we have to go into our ship and fly over if we could just literally drive out and probably drive right around the corner. It looks like that is it. Okay. There's some resources here as well, and I think they are what we need. Well, at least there's some cobalt. Okay, that was a bit framey there. I'm not sure what happened. And we have some nickel here as well. We don't need nickel for what we're looking for, but it's good to pick up some resources. Okay. We do have this um, gun, which has a short scope, so we could check out how that works. Company, I think. Yeah, we have to get a bit closer. Whoa, what are these guys? Whoa, where did they come from? Okay, let's pick up the loot from them. Alien genetic, yeah, pick it all up. We can sort it out. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, balls. That is not good. Of course there were mines. And there's a turret as well. Okay, let's go. Let's get closer. Let's get behind them. We're surrounded pretty much, which is not good. Nice. There we go, nice. Let's see if we can get the scoped. The sni well, it's not a sniper, it's just a rifle. Nice. Nice. Let's get some loot. Okay, let's get some healing. Okay, I have to hide. This is ridiculous. They're actually flanking me. Oh my god, and there's more mines. Okay, let's get some more healing into us. Can we blow this up. Yeah. Didn't really hurt him at all. Okay. Nice. 
Okay. We have to use our backpack. I'm doing that on purpose because we need to use it 20 times in combat or something. Or 25 times. There's the turret. Nice. Let's get um, ammunition. <sighs> At least we're safe indoors for a second. Gotcha. So how many shotgun shells do we have? 14. So let's get up on the roof. There we go. Excellent. Med pack. the turret there we go nice okay that's a robot actually okay got him okay let's do our mandatory jetpack jumps let's take the magnet as well grenade. Let's see if that works. Let's go. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, Sam. I hope you got the other one. Shotgun shells. Mat pack. Excellent. So let's do a little bit more jumping around. We're nearly there. There we go. 25. I have no idea where the other guy is hiding. Oh, that's a turret. Crap. <laughs> okay, shotgun. Time to tango. Nice. I nice. Let's pick up the zero wire as well. <laughs> Maybe cherry vanilla. Ah, oh, turret control. That would have been nice to see that first. So let's have, let me have a look around and see if there's any resources here or anything we can find. One and all over the settled systems for the bounty to match. I was just searching and this guy comes up behind me. Don't know who you think I am, but you're about to find out. Is that I forgot I have the wanted level. Anyway, since you seem confused by our presence, I'll break it down for you. Seems someone's gone and put an ash to size bounty on your head. Good question. I'd say 2,000 credits would be enough to make us forget we ever saw you. Or, we could just collect it the old fashioned way. Okay, who put the bounty on my head? Does it matter? Why don't we just say your mother did it? I'll send her your remains with a card. You can try. Well, he's gone. And that was the only one, I think. Wanted. Take the good stuff. Leave the rest. To all soldiers of fortune, I want Charlie dead. A large sum of credits will be added to your account upon confirmation of the kill. To add to the game, this number will increase by a set amount every week. I know what you're thinking. The longer you wait, the higher the bounty. But ask yourself, will the next hunter be as patient as you? Oh, that's very good. I like that. There was nothing in here anyway. So let me just see. There was there was a couple of credits like lying around, but that's about it. So let's go into the next. Um, Looks like a smuggler den. Tent. Let's see if we can nest, find anything here. Whatever you call it, smuggler. Any thing. saves or any resources? Oh, there's a data pad. Shogang, welcome. Welcome to our little camp. It doesn't look like much, but I know you'll find a place for yourself here. It certainly beats living under the thumb of the Freestar Guards. Plus, the Ashtar don't come around here. 
So outside of Aquila, this might be the safest place on the planet. Join me for a drink when I get back. And we definitely take that because we all know 20% extra of persuasion uh, doesn't work when you have zero persuasion to start with. Okay, we have uh, just ammunition and stuff like that. There's just a lot of ammunition flying around here. Oh, some lead. Nice. Some raw resources are here as well. Yeah, that's it. Nothing here. Let's go into the other building. So we had these two buildings here checked out. And let's go into this one where we actually started. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, there's a data pad. This unit has served us very well, yet the time has come for us to admit that without a few new parts, our repairs are not going to last. If we want this to work more than a few days at a time, I'm going to need new deformable nozzle, at least a functional reactive gauge, and some isotopic coolant to refresh the system. It's not much to ask for all of us, and for this loyal unit, please find these parts. Okay. A diggy pick, I take that. And we have credits, and I definitely get the chunk cola. Nice! Scavenging, we leveled up as well. So, do we have any skill points by any chance left? No. Oh, there's, an, there's something in the fridge. Tack you, it. Congratulations, you have noticed our fridge is empty. You must be very thirsty in this dry <laughs> Kyla heat. I know I am, and I'm sure your friends are too. The task set before you now is to go into town and get some more beer. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now go. All right, we checked out these three buildings now. Um, Just got a couple of credits. Nothing too amazing. So let's have a quick look through the tent here and see if there's anything here. No container, loads of stuff to blow up, so be careful. And there was nothing else there, so let's get... Oh, what is this? Oh, that is the computer for the tech unit. Let's head in. There's more guys to shoot, so be careful. They notice us already. Okay, grenade. Nice. Did Sam throw a grenade as well? Because there was two ice through mine and something exploded. Unless it was a explodey barrel. Oh, what do we have here? What's the readout? Nickel. Aluminum and nickel. Well, I might as well. You gotta get those resources for when we want to craft things. That's a mine. Okay, let's take some distance here. There we go. This side passage might lead someplace interesting. Well, I hope so. Can we dismantle these? Oh, crap. Okay, before we go there, let's look behind us quickly. We need to loot the two guys as well. Frag grenade, inferno mines, nice. Okay, let's loot the bodies. Caliber. What is all that? The Rattler. Nah. Okay. And there was another guy here. Shogun Cave Key? Yes, I take it. Thank you. That tombstone is worth a lot, actually. We're gonna pick it up. I know it's only a couple of hundred when we actually get to sell it for real, but... Oh, we have some credits here as well. Some are... Oh, Cave Key. And diggy picks and ammunition. Contraband cash? Well, let's see if we can open that. So on the outside, I think we can use these two. And then here we have this and this potentially? Nope. Okay, I think these two will fit here. This one and this one. And then we can use the two singles here. Wow. That is a lot. But if we take the contraband, that means if we're going to get found out, if we're going to get scanned, we're in trouble. I think there is a place, I have to check where it is, where we can actually fly to, where there's no check outside, and then there's a space station where we can sell it. I just have to remember where it was. We have a weapon case as well here. Ooh, what is an Ashtar Tamer? Wow. That looks like a big boy. 40 millimeter? We, oh, yeah, we're gonna take that one, all right. And we had we got some ammo as well. That's brilliant. There's more of that ammo. Sweet. And we got some 3 KV. Another weapon case here. What do we have? 
more 3kv ammo and we have the equinox that's fine can't really see anybody they're clearly there i mean they're shooting at us Let's see if we can sneak up on them Whoa, 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 whoa! Point blank, they came out of nowhere. Tombstone, yeah, the worth a little money. Goes the spoils. Where's the other dude? I said that right, right? Oh, what is that? That looks like very expensive stuff. We should definitely pick that up. Gotcha. Any mines here? Oh, they are here. Oh, that's the pistol. I thought it was a mine. Okay, we're near the artifact, I think. But there is so much resources. We have to pick them all up because they're very valuable. I think that's common where the artifacts are. All right, let's take the artifact. Is that like a massive space station or something? So we got what we came for. Where to now? Alright, let's leave. Oh, what's happening? I don't like this at all. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you I only just joined back. Constellation. I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. So how about we let you live and let you go? I mean, I need the drops and the ammunition, so no deal. Kill them! Damn it. Just Let's do a grenade. Everything. There you go. Nice. They have Equinox's weapons as well. Excellent. Let's see if we can snipe them. Oh, actually, she's fighting the monster? Then we might as well keep shooting at her. Yeah, the Ashta killed her. Okay, hang on. If you don't mind, I'll let you skim that one. Yeah, let me see where we can loot them. Do we scan this? 38% scans. Yeah, so with the animals, you don't scan one. You have to scan, like, multiple for it to be considered um, scanned. Credits, shotgun shells, beautiful. Let's see what we got here. Take it all. <laughs> Credits, caliber. Oh, there is a lot of ammunition here. Ooh, what is a... a modified Equinox... This one is worth a lot, so, oof. 7.5 millimeters, yeah, we're gonna take that. That was worth a lot of credits. Credits, caliber, penicillin. Oh, there's somebody left, okay. Uh. 
credits, caliber, med pack. Anybody else left? Don't think so. So before we're gonna go home to Alpha Centauri, uh, back to the lodge to hand over the artifact, we're gonna stop at the wolf system, which is where the den is. And in the den, the wolf system is actually right beside us, so you can get there straight away in the beginning of the game, and that is where you can sell contraband. For own level in this place. It's right, really and here we should be able to sell the contraband. Pilot, that's exactly your problem. You don't think if you Always trade authority, maybe here. Someone new. Welcome to the trade authority. I'm Marcel, and if there's anything, anything I can do for you, please do let me know. Well, Our that sounded a bit weird. As vast as New Atlantis or Sidonia, but I will do my best to see that you leave here. Satisfied. And seeing as the Trade Authority is the only fully licensed operator for the den, I'm afraid your alternatives are, shall we say, slim. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I hope this and all future interactions are profitable for both of us. I like to see what you have for sale. I hope we have what you need. And I like to see if I can sell <laughs> my contraband. Where's contraband? Is it misc? Oh, yes. Okay, so this one we don't get a lot of money for, but this one, 2,000, is not bad. There we go. Very nice. Now, do you have any resources that I need? Oh, that would have been so handy because we need some lead and I need, I'm about six lead short. So, um, in regards to the money that we make from items, so something that's like worth 11,000, we get like 2,000. Um, we can take the comet skill where we get a little bit of a bonus, and I suppose at the end we can uh, sell for 25% more of what it is right now. So um, let's do the first one. Buy or sell 25 unique items. That should hopefully not take too long. So I just did a 24, uh, sorry, 48 hour wait here because I wanted to see if this guy resets and maybe has different resources to offer now and then maybe we get lucky and he sells lead. If there's anything I can do for you, please say it. Good to see you. Oh, small round primer. We needed that as well. That is really good. I don't know how many we needed for that, but that is sweet. Can we buy ammunition as well? 7-7, seven, seven, we have loads and loads of that. It's 3k, always buy these, I guess. And the 12G shotgun, definitely. Sure, let's buy that. I have some weapons spare that I can sell. The, the Ashta Tamer, that is a 40 millimeter XPL. Yeah, we can sell them all for now. That's 2,000. We don't really need to hold on to any of them. Sell the Kraken. And we need to do the 25 uniques anyway. Suppressed Razorback. Yeah, sell that. And the Tombstones. Here we go. Very good. What about AIDS? Definitely buy the Amps. Buy any of that. The Bandages. Very good. Anything that treats any conditions, we definitely want to buy. Yeah, stay away from beer and alcohol because it actually has negative effects as well. So buy the med packs, definitely. Ooh, this is good. A neurojack is very good for research. We're definitely going to get that. Plus 40 melee damage and plus 300 damage resistance. Wow. Yeah, let's buy them because at least we get the uniqueness. So we need to buy six more unique items. Okay, let's buy one of those. Sell the apparels. And yeah, let's sell some resources that we have as uniques. There you go. That's it. And 25. So now we have unlocked the ability to get the next level, which we're going to do at the next uh, skill point. Before I actually land and hand everything in, um, Jameson actually has lead. That is pretty cool because we need seven lead. So we might as well just land right randomly here. There we go. And just go around and collect some lead. So you can actually sit in your rover and scan. That is cool. Can we also... Oh, no, we can only shoot. Okay, we have 10 lead. I'm not sure how many we actually need. I thought it was 7 that we needed. But let's collect a few more just in case. Okay, with all the collecting and scanning, I got another skill point. We leveled up again, so let's make this 15%. I think these skills are kind of best taken early, and if I would restart again, it would probably be one of the first skills I take, because as soon as you start sell selling and buying things, you're clearly gonna add to it, which is great. So let's head inside and 
hand in the artifact. And then we're gonna go down to the research station and see if we can start doing some research. Right. And make that ammunition. Alright, let's do hurt? it. You didn't like just what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. True. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Yeah, catch you later. I totally agree. Likewise. You know where to find us. Hello there. 7,200 suppressed calibrated Rattler added. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me see that. Okay, that's a uh, 0.27 caliber. We have 466 rounds for that. A uh, reflex sight suppressor, large magazine. Now, our current pistol is actually quite weak. And it's using the 7.7 ammunition. So it would be good to get that upgraded at some point and replaced. So we have the lead and we have the copper. So let's see. Weaponry. Ammunition research. Why does it say I have zero? Oh, do I have to assign them? Why does it not count them? Oh, there we go. 26, confirm. Oh, nice! It automatically added the five copper. That is so sweet. If I would have known, this is how it works. So what I'm gonna do is, before I do that, let me go into my inventory, to aid. And there is actually something we can take that increases our research and has a chance of free discovery. There you go, this one. The Neurojack. Research requires fewer resources, I don't know how much. 50% chance to research certain developments. So that means, I think, what just happened there, that you assign some resources and it all of a sudden makes up resources so that you don't need as many. Yeah, we only have four small primers, so let's see if we can save some primers. How come we were able to assign this, but... Oh, why does it say we have no copper? Hang on a second. We picked up cobalt. That's what it is. So let's assign the four primers and hope that the rest of the copper is going to be assigned. I mixed up cobalt with copper. How could I do that? Okay, let's do it. Oh, it added plus one copper. So we're one copper short. Oh, research project ammunition has been completed. Nice! It was only six, yes, because we um, got the Neurojack. So for the two, what do we need for two? We go here, ammunition two. For that, we need more copper. We have the lead, so let's put the lead in there. We got plus four copper, that's really good. We have some zero wire, only two, but that's okay. We didn't get a discovery or anything, but we actually now should be able to craft level 1 ammunition, whatever tier 1 ammunition is. So let's have a look. So 7.7 .7 millimeters. We need a small primer and solvent. Okay. So the best gun I have so far that's the strongest gun is the 11 millimeters, but I think 11 millimeter, yeah, I can't craft that. I have to get the next level of research. So if hypothetically we want to set up an outpost to make, say, Ammunition, yeah, whatever ammunition it is. So say 12 gauge shotgun ammunition, yeah. So that would be tungsten, copper, and lead, great, and large primer. Now, is large primer something we can craft? So it seems that primer is something small or large primer is something you just have to buy from vendors or find in loot. So you can't actually craft it. And I don't think, I haven't seen anything obvious yet here. Now, we do have um, research for base development. And we also have apparently some materials. So all the materials we picked up from the animals, actually, when we sh I started going on a rampage with animals because of, uh, killing them and looting them also includes to scan them. So I did a lot of that while I was gathering the resources, the, resources, the lead. 
So we have some aluminium here, so let's do that. Put that in. Or oh, aluminum, sorry. Aluminium is just European English. We got three. Oh, very good. Got some bonuses there. And we have one amino acid. Let's see if we get the next one for free. Nice, we did. Excellent. Research project medical treatment has been completed. We can't actually make healing paste or whatever, like the standard healing things. We can't make them yet. So I don't know if that's something we can unlock either. So medical treatment 2 says discover to create analgesic poultice. And put yeah, so that's different. But um, chemistry. Okay, so if we unlock chemistry, it might unlock more. And then we have performance enhancements, which um, we have metabolic agents, which is which came from a drop from the animals. So let's use them. And then added some aragon. There we go. Yeah, that's all we can do. So is there anything else we can do right now for manufacturing, for example? Yes, yeah, sealant. We have three. Let's put three in. We didn't get anything else. And we have some adaptive frames that we found. Might as well use them. Didn't trigger anything else. And one iron. Yeah, that's it. All right. So the good thing is in regards to our resources, yeah, they weigh a lot. So the great thing is these boxes here, they have an infinite amount of mass. So we should be able to put in here all our resources at once. There you go. And it takes all the weight out of us. And you can see here there is no weight acknowledgement here. So they will stay here as far as I know forever. And um, we can just keep putting in resources as much as we want, which is great. So crafting from containers is sadly not a thing. So if we go into anywhere where it would require, say, one of the resources that we know we have, like lead, it says zero. So it doesn't go into uh, containers or anything, which is kind of a bit of a downer. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, between episodes, I might actually go and grind some resources, try to find some nice spot somewhere on the planet where we're going to build our base, do a little bit of scouting. And um, the next time when we come back, we're going to continue with the main quest here. Unless I found a very good setup that allows us to build a very nice starter base for the resources that we need to do certain crafts. Absolutely. Then we're going to do that first. And we might actually try to do something here on Jameson because it's close to where we need to be and where the initial shops are and everything. So we can do something close to here and um, that would allow us then to sell it immediately here in the local shops, everything. So, but anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming.